Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making some delicious, flavorful, spiced mashed potatoes. These were so good. A little different from the norm, but nonetheless, they were incredible. So let's get started. Try to use some russet or Yukon gold potatoes. Those make the best mashed potatoes. I gave my potatoes a buzz cut, rinse them under cold water. I cut them in quarters so they'd cook quicker, and I cooked them for about 30 minutes or until they were nice and tender. I don't own a potato ricer, but those things are the best to mash potatoes. I'm just using a regular masher. Now in a saucepan, you want to saute the spices. I started with some butter, mustard seeds, turmeric powder, and some cumin. Sounds odd, I know, but it works. And of course, the exact recipe will be down in the description box below. Give everything a good mix and you then want to pour in your milk or heavy cream. You may also do a combination of whole milk and cream, which is what I normally do, but this time around I just used whole milk. And then throw in your butter. Now we want to let this simmer and you want the butter to completely melt. This is what it'll look like. And what's great about the turmeric powder is that it gives it a strong yellow color. So um, your mashed potatoes will look very buttery, but trust me, we did not put pounds of butter into our mashed potatoes. Now you want to use a strainer to get the mustard seeds. Even though I will be providing the exact measurements for this recipe, I suggest you eyeball how much of the uh, spiced milk you add. Some people like their mashed potatoes super loose and others don't, so the looser you like them, the more milk you should add. So I started by pouring about a quarter cup and then just a little more. I kept eyeballing it to see the consistency that I wanted and then I just kept mashing away. And now the most important ingredient for mashed potatoes, in my opinion, is salt. You have to salt mashed potatoes very generously. And I also like to add mascarpone cheese. You may use Philadelphia cream cheese if you have that on hand, but mascarpone is really good for mashed potatoes. It's very, very creamy. And there I am adding the mascarpone or mascarpone cheese. And then you want to just mash it until you get your desired consistency and then I switched over to a spatula and these mashed potatoes were perfect I really enjoyed them they were super creamy and delicious I served them in a little casserole an iron cast casserole if you will and I topped these off with a little bit of cilantro only because Cilantro is, I use cilantro when I use like really um, potent uh, spices. And then I topped it off with just a little butter. I really hope you give this recipe a try. These were very flavorful and I enjoyed them very much. So please give them a try. Let me know if you do. And I want to thank you all so much for watching.